No pets. What a bust. We've got Johnny Walker. Tell us a little bit about this uh, trail we're going to embark upon today, John. Okay, we're going to go this way, and then we're going to go this way. And then we're going to go right up there to, to that, uh, the top part up there on top. Up, and up, then up. we'll be at the top, and, and that'll be the high part. Well, well, thank you, John, for that welcome, super detailed... <laughs> oh, it's a truck. I thought it was a little bit of thunder. All right, well, as you can see, uh, also in the interest of sunburning... I've got my super cool inherited Wrangler head tie from 1972. And we'll uh, just kind of keep you posted along the way. So far, no wildlife. We saw some gapers stop to look at a moose that wasn't there, but uh, that's about it. And I'm still going to get that ranger's hat before we get out of here. If he thinks he's safe, he's got another thing coming. And as you can see, we've, uh, we've come up the trail probably... I'd like to say a mile, but that's probably not true at all. Uh, I'm not sure if you can really see the parking lot down there, but the cars look like little tiny ants from up here. And uh, we've got it right here, we've got a great view, just a great view of the Yellowstone Valley and the gapers that inhabit it. And John, if you go ahead and pan up there real quick, uh, you can see the task that we have before us is quite daunting, but not to worry, we've got four power bars and uh, two camelbacks full of water, so we should be set. Be very quiet. We've just snuck in up on a wild John in the wilderness. <laughs> he appears to have <laughs> he appears to be giving his mating signal. <laughs> well, John's uh, really action adventured up. He's uh, taking off his trouser legs. A little Blair Witch cam here for you. Man, look at those calves. I'm gonna go ahead and zoom in and see if you can see the definition on those bad boys. Scary. <laughs> a true old spice man. Here we have the beautiful Jenny's Lake. Yellowstone Valley. A tree. And up there somewhere is a urinating John. Hello there. You may recognize this lake from earlier tapes. That's the infamous Jenny's Lake where the rabid chipmunks will eat right out of your hand. Here we have Action Adventure John, complete with red bandana. And Action Adventure Tad. Kind of slurred those words together a little bit. <laughs> All right, well, we're gonna go up still. Well, we're, uh, we're not there yet, but we're getting there. Just, uh, I'd like to take just a moment to note uh, different kinds of footwear. John here is sporting the highly tactical, sturdy-soled hiking boot. And I am sporting the Teva Mush flip-flop. Now, a lot of people are going to look at that and say, Tad, what the hell are you doing? But there's real theory behind it. And John's going to explain a little bit of the science behind the foot gear weight ratio to weight on your back ratio. John, if you would, please. Scientific research has shown that one pound on your foot is comparable to ten pounds on your back. Um, therefore, if you're wearing hiking boots that weigh 8 pounds, um, that's comparable in aerobic exercise to carrying 80 pounds on your back, um, as opposed to flip-flops that weigh approximately 0.5 pounds, <laughs> which, which would be comparable to, oh, half a pound on your back or 5 pounds on your back. Um, so... Tad's doing a lot less work to be here than I am, I think, is what he's trying to say. That's, well, John always one-ups me, you see. In preparation for several of these trips, uh, I've been running the bleachers over at Rapston Stadium, and John informed me the other day that he has been running them with a 70-pound pack. So, um, once again, upped by Chief Walker. That's, to, that's necessary to compensate for the weight of my footwear. <laughs> well, on up the trail we go to the mighty summit, and I'm gonna go ahead and pan down here, and as you can see, the beautiful Jenny's Lake. Um, the snow field there actually feeds Jenny's Lake, I believe. It just kinda drip, drip, drops all the way down and fills up that giant lake. Not sure if you can see it from here, but they've got the, uh, the good old Jenny's Lake shuttle running across, which was quite a lifesaver on our last trip. I'm not sure, I, I could've made it, but I was pretty damn tired by the time we got to the end. Okay, here's Tad on the top of Tiwanot being a good husband, talking to his wife on the cell phone. And 
Apparently his government cell phone works better than my cell phone because I don't have coverage. Dogs are down. So there we have Tad and Tiwanad and the Grand. And and Solitude Lake. Jackson Lake, Jenny Lake, there we go. Aha, hello there ladies. We miss you greatly. The question has arisen, what does an alpine rush smell like? Well John, can you tell them what an alpine rush smells like? That, ladies, <laughs> is an alpine rush. Live like a man, smell like a man. <laughs> there you go. So there's the Black Butte and Jackson Hole and the airport. And yes, Tad, um, enjoying a brief repose before he feverishly digs into a can of ravioli provided by Paige Paskett. Yes. Paige, I would like to make a public thank you. Thank you for your delicious contribution, Paige. I'm quite excited to eat it. And um, if you remember that you didn't actually want to give it to me and you're grumpy, then I'm very sorry and I will buy you a candy bar. <laughs> but um, we love everyone and we will talk to you later.